Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics School U. In this video, we are going to solve a question from a mixed concept and you will find that how smoothly the question sails through one beautiful concept to the other. Chale, let us start with the question. So the question reads as distance D or in fact D X Y comma L represent perpendicular distance from X Y to the line L. Consider three lines. Now we have three lines here. Yeah. One line, two line, and this is the third line. The first line is L1X plus M1Y plus L1P plus M1Q is equal to zero. The second line is L2X plus M2Y minus L2Q plus M2R. This is M2R equals to zero. And the third line is L3X plus M3Y plus L3R plus M3P equals to zero. P, Q, R are constants and L, I, M, I are variables. They keep on changing. Okay, fine. Now what they are saying, if the maximum of distance of origin from the line Li be A, B, C respectively and 0, A, B, C are roots of are roots of the monic polynomial. These are the roots of monic polynomial. Vx equals to 0. Then find V A plus B plus C by 2. So what we have to do here is we have to find out ultimately V of A plus B plus C by 2. This value find find. So, what do we do first? Look, there is no 3D in it, but see the beauty of the question. How 3D will be involved in solving this question? Okay, what do we do? First of all, we have said that we take the distance of origin from the lines and maximize the distance of origin from the lines. So, I started with first of all, A. A is the distance of the point 0, 0,0 from the very first line. So, it turns out to be L1P plus m1q divided by root over l1 square plus m1 square, right? This is what we are getting. So we have pqr constant l, m, l and m are variables. When you look at this expression and you apply the cauchy schwartz inequality, or you can say that if you apply this vector wala inequality that v1 dot v2 is always less than or equals to modulus v1, modulus v2. So we will get that a is always less than or equals to root over p square plus q square. Okay, now what will happen? A will be? It will be less than or equal to root over p square plus q square. How do you use this property? Now, you take the v1 vector lelo, pi cap plus qj cap. While you take the v2 vector as the unit vector l1 i cap m1 j cap divided by root over l1 square plus m1 square. Now you see v1 dot v2, you are getting the same expression. And after that, we can say that this is going to be less than or equal to this quantity. So what is the maximum value? A ka value jo mil raha hai, we, it will be maximum of this quantity. So basically A turns out to be root over P square plus Q square. Similarly, when you are calculating for B, it turns out to be root over Q square plus R square. And when you are solving it for C, the maximum distance you are talking about, it turns out to be R square plus P square. So here we have A, B, C values. Aave, right? Ab, I have the values A, B, C. What I need to calculate is, First of all, a polynomial having roots 0 ABC. And then in that polynomial, if I keep X as A plus B plus C by 2, then what is going to be the value? This is what I need to find out, right? First of all, what is the polynomial we are going to get? So it will be X minus 0 into X minus A, X minus B, X minus C. Since it is a monic polynomial, I am keeping in mind that coefficient of the leading term must be 1 or leading coefficient must be 1. What is going to be V of A plus B plus C by 2? When you keep this value, what you are going to get? See, A plus B plus C by 2. Then you will get A plus B plus C by 2 minus A. So it will become B plus C minus A upon 2. Then you will have A plus C minus B upon 2. And then you will have A plus B minus C divided by 2. Right? What we are getting exactly here, this is nothing but, suppose if I take a triangle with the side lens ABC, this is S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. So we can say that this is nothing but area of a triangle having the side lengths as A, B and C, right? So delta square, obviously square lagana padega because otherwise we have a square root in the formula, right? So V A plus B plus C is nothing but delta square. Delta is area of triangle with the side lengths, with side lengths, A, B, C. राइट ठीक है चलिए तो ये तो हमने इंटरप्रेट कर लिया कि v of a plus b plus c is going to be delta square but what is the use of 3d here 
So now you will see that how we are connecting the question to 3D. We have to consider a triangle having the side lengths A, B, C. And look at the side A. It is root over P square plus Q square. B is Q square plus R square, while C is R square plus P square. So I said, I'm going to consider a triangle in 3D. I'm going to consider a triangle in 3D. So I'm going to triangle layer. Raha triangle. I'm calling this triangle as A, B, C. And see how I'm taking the coordinates now. A, X axis per layer. B on Y axis. C on Z axis. You just notice that. Can I write A, B length is equals to A root over P square plus Q square. Then talking about the other side length B, C, you can see that B, C is root over Q square plus R square. And coming to the side length A, C, it is turning out to be C. So the triangle they are talking about or the triangle whose area is to be evaluated here is nothing but triangle A, B, C, right? I need to find out the area of this triangle. After getting the area of this triangle, I'm going to put it in delta square and will complete my question. But how to get the area of this triangle ABC? As we have revised it in the first question as well, I'm going to make use of the similar approach and will get the area. Can you delta square ko kya lik sakte ho? Origin ko mark kiya. So this is going to be area of the triangle OAB ka whole square. Then area of the triangle OBC ka whole square plus area of the triangle OCA ka whole square, right? So, kya hum in areas ko calculate kar sakte hain? Absolutely, we can calculate it. This one will be half PQ ka whole square. Half PQ whole square. And then we have half QR whole square and half RP whole square. You can take that 1 by 4 ka factor common. We'll be left out with P square Q square. plus QR whole square plus RP whole square. So what did they say? They said that we have to find out the value of uh, B A plus B plus C. This is the answer that we will be getting. So what is V of A plus B plus C by 2? This is equals to 1 by 4 times of P square Q square plus Q square R square plus R square P square. P Q R are constant, so you need not to worry that I'll have to go and calculate these values as well. Nothing. This is the answer that we will be having for the question. So let us bring an end to the video here. Please like the video and don't forget to share it with your friends and fellow aspirants. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.